Hey, it's Marco here from Fair Realty, Victoria, BC, with your October 2024 real estate market update. Numbers here on the side, let's get started. 654 sales for the month of October, 61% increase over last year. On social media, I'm starting to see people in the real estate industry saying the market's hot, it's taking off, now is the time to buy. 654 sales is up 61% compared to last year because the baseline was so low. If we look at the 10 year average, the 10 year average for October is 664 sales. So we're actually 10 sales lower than the 10 year average. By no means is the market uh, blistering hot at this point in time. Next up, new listings. We had 1,204 new listings come to market. This is gonna get missed by a lot of people. This is an all time record high for the month of October since we started keeping this stat in 1989. So the highest number of new listings coming to market in 35 years. The 10 year average is 1,003 new listings with most years being below 1,000 new listings. The combination has resulted in 3,161 active listings on the market. So inventory is starting to trend uh, down a bit, but it does so seasonally uh, this time of year all the way up until uh, the new year. Active listings, it's the highest we've seen in the last uh, 10 years. The only higher year in the last 10 years was 2015. We had nine more listings, but we're still quite a bit lower than the numbers we saw 12, 13 years ago when this time of year we had over 4,500 uh, listings at times. So what's going on with prices? The single family home median for the month of October jumped up to 1,142,000 uh, from the previous month of September at 1.1 uh, million. As I said in my market update for September, I felt there was quite a bit of noise in that 1.1 million uh, median and that wasn't actually indicative of downward pressure on single family home pricing. Uh, what I'm seeing on the ground is single family home pricing is relatively stable for the time being. Uh, it's been stable this year, it's in line where pricing was uh, last Last year, it's going to be interesting to see what happens this spring as interest rates uh, start coming down even further. On the condo side, the condo median was 513,750, down substantially from September. Uh, that median of 513,750 is the lowest thing, uh, is the lowest condo median we've seen in the last uh, three years. There is some downward pressure in the condo market uh, right now. Uh, I had quite a few buyers buy condos uh, in October and there were some great deals. I had a couple of buyers uh, buy really nice uh, units at Dockside, brand new by Bosa in the high fours, GST included. This is down between 70 and $100,000 uh, from the peak of the market for a really good uh, product. Uh, however, at the same time, as condo prices have come down and as interest rates are starting to come down. I'm seeing more and more people phoning me about purchasing condos, specifically downtown VicWest, because affordability has improved. Most people have seen wage growth in the last three years, interest rates are coming down, and condo prices are down substantially uh, from the peak. However, I can't really say the same thing for single family homes. We're simply lacking fundamental inventory of single family homes. I think if there is any potential downward pressure on single family homes, Homes, which we haven't seen in a couple of years, it's gonna be very minimal. And there's also the risk that there is upward price pressure on single family homes come the spring as interest rates uh, continue to come down. So at this point, we're winding down the fall season, heading into winter. There's not gonna be a lot of market uh, shifts happening in the next uh, couple of months. I think it's gonna be relatively stable maybe a bit more downward pressure on the condo market, but I feel like we're probably reaching a bottom in terms of the condo market as well. That's it for this week. Marco Juras, Fair Realty.